The word strategy gets thrown around way too easily today, so there's no wonder we struggle to come up with this thing called strategic advantage. We become lazy and we substitute the complex word strategy for quite simple things such as ideas or goals or actions. So when we do this, we're engaging in bad strategy. When I say bad strategy, I don't mean the wrong strategy. I mean a poorly formulated strategy. So how do we go about formulating good strategy? Well, Richard Rummelt has dissected common errors that, we, uh, that most of us engage in today when it comes to strategy in his brilliant book, Good Strategy, Bad Strategy, The Difference and Why It Matters. And uh, this is easily one of the best books that I've read. Being ambitious is not strategy and having audacious goals is not strategic. Strong leadership is not strategic and nor is never quitting. So what is strategy? So unlike a standalone decision or goal, a strategy is a coherent set of analyses, concepts, policies, arguments, and actions that respond to a high stakes challenge. And that challenge is something that needs to be identified. So what he's saying here, and in, in much of the book, is that everything that we call strategic or think that's strategic isn't. It's much more complicated than that. It's more, it's, strategy is bigger, it's smarter and more integrated than ideas, goals and plans. Um, and this is why I love the book. To read briefly from the book, Ambition is drive and zeal to excel. Determination is commitment and grit. Innovation is the discovery and engineering of new ways to do things. Inspirational leadership motivates people to sacrifice for their own and the common good. And here's the part. So strategy responsive to innovation and ambition selects the path identifying how, when and where leadership and determination are to be applied. It almost becomes mathematical. So Richard states that a good strategy consists of a kernel and that kernel is made up of three parts. That is the diagnosis, the guiding policy and a coherent set of actions. With this structure and a lot of, a lot of really relevant and um, interesting examples from the business world, Richard brilliantly breaks down what's going wrong in our corporate business world today and brings us back to how we can really create strategic advantage. Creating effective systems within your business that align with your guiding policy um, and drive coherent actions is what the systems mentor is all about. If you feel you'd like to talk more about how you can use systems and the systems within your business to go about creating a real strategic advantage within your business, um, please feel free to contact me directly. I'm Bruce, the Systems Mentor.